Alright guys, I'm back. <coughs> Excuse me. This mini game is okay. I'm kinda glad that uh there's not too many of these in the game. But uh The objective of the objective of the interrogation is to co is to coerce a suspect into giving up vital information. Only when the suspect's stress level is within the cooperation zone can you extract information and progress the interrogation. Triangle. Aggression raises the stress level. B. Coaxing maintains the current stress level. X. Calming lowers the stress level. That's good to know. <laughs> tell me what the plan is. I won't tell you anything. Tell me about the assassination. You shot me! I need a doctor! I thought I remembered the, uh... You know what the plan is! It's nothing to do with me! You, you get the wrong guy! I know who you are, Robert. Your friends turned on you! Nothing! You've got nothing! Conspiracy to murder the acting president of the United States. I think that's something. Talk to me and we might be able to cut a deal. It's too late. There's, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Now come on. I, I have nothing to say to you. Oh boy. Please tell me what I want to know and I can protect you. You have no idea what you're up against. Why are you looking out the window? What's out there? Snipers! Are they on the rooftops? Is that it? It's too late! There are too many of them for you to stop. I can't help you unless you work with me. It's too late for you to do anything. Tell me about the snipers, Robert. I don't have to answer you. Come on, Robert, this is important. How many snipers are there? There were seven snipers. What are their positions? All I know is that they're on rooftops up and down the vice president's motorcade route in this part of town. Start talking now! I'm telling you nothing. Now give me the location on the snipers. Look, I'm not afraid of you. The snipers, Robert. How do I find them? The roof. They're visible from the roof, but you can't access it. The door is electronically locked. I'm bleeding. Oh no. Okay. I'll call an ambulance as soon as you start cooperating. If you let me die, you'll never get any answers. I can't help you until you help me. I want a doctor now! You're going to be fine. You'll never take them all out. Robert, is there a code for the door? I need you to tell me what it is. You, you, you do need a code, but, but, but I don't know if you want anything, I swear! This is your last chance. I want the code. Give it to me now! It's... It's 603-1968. I swear that's the code. 603-1968. Thirty-seven percent. Come on. I thought I did better than that. I guess I took too long. Yet again. You realize it's not gonna matter. Dessler. Michelle. 
Daniels told me that there's seven snipers positioned around the vice president's motorcade route. Have you gotten through to Secret Service? No, the signal's still jammed. That's what I was afraid of. I'm gonna have to take out each sniper individually. You have their positions? No, all I know is that they're in buildings waiting for the motorcade to pass. I'll have Sean see if he can locate them using SatNav-1. Call me when you've got something. Sean, have you ever worked with a satellite vid link? Everything I've done has been with simulations, just training exercises. I've never... That's good enough. You need to sign on using HMC protocol. There's not much time. I'm back. Uh, it says... Help Jack save the Vice President by locating the snipers. The snipers are hidden in the five buildings marked on the map. Use the left stick, or the left stick, move selection cursor. X, zoom into the selected building. Scan each floor to search for snipers. The heat sources will be shown in red on the map. Use the left stick to move the cursor over the latest, over, over the heat sources. Press and hold X over heat source to analyze potential threat. Select targets that have a clear view of the motorcade's route. Sean, you're going to need to check the buildings in Jack's area. Make sure you scan all the floors. They could be anywhere with a clear vantage point. Excuse me. This mission I didn't like too much. I don't think. Uh, how do I scan again? Is it X? Excuse me. Jack's going to need the data soon. Have you found the potential targets yet? Uh, I think I might just start analyzing only the targets just near the front of the building. Like this, this can't be a target or a sniper. So maybe this is a sniper. Okay, so <coughs> Jack needs the target information. You've only got one minute before we upload the data. there. <laughs> the 
this out one. Alright, now right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm finished. Oh, there's one more. Shoot. Not bad, but you didn't thoroughly search all the buildings. <coughs> we'll send Jack what you got. I'll head over and do a final search. I... I didn't even notice the, uh, the counter to the right. need to upload this to Jack's GPS immediately. I'm on it. Yeah. Sean's uploading the target info on your GPS right now. You should have it any second. Got it. <laughs> We've located some potential targets. There wasn't time to do a complete search. I'll let you know if we find anything else. Damn it, Michelle. I need all the locations. Tell me when you've got them. I like how uh, one mission affects affects the other. That's pretty neat. Sometimes. I found new targets for you. Uploading now. Michelle, the motorcade has been attacked. Jack, you've got to keep the vice president and his people safe. Take out those snipers. Jack, I'm uploading more target information. Shoot, 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 That's it. All targets have been taken out, Michelle. I repeat, all targets have been neutralized. Eighty-one percent. That's more like it. Our flight time to Los Angeles will be approximately five hours. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Almeida. I need medics here right now. We've got people down. It should only be another couple of minutes. Some of these people might not have a couple of minutes. Sir, get back. <sighs> Sir, my name is Agent Jack Bauer. I'm with Los Angeles CTU. Do you understand? Me? Good. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me. I'm going to get you to a hospital as quickly as I can. Desler. Yes. No, that's my fault. Send her in. 
What's going on? We have an intern starting today. With everything that's been going on, I completely There's no way we can have an intern starting today. There's too much going on. Our new intern is Tim Bauer. Good morning. Where do you want me? This isn't the best day for you to start. Oh. Okay. Kim Bauer, right? Yes. Great. Glad you're here. Sean Walker. Follow me to the tech room. I'll get you started. takes place between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Dessler. Michelle, Daniels has taken off in a stolen car from the assassination site. I'm trailing him onto the freeway. I'll let you know where he leads me. That was Jack. He shot him Robert Daniels. Thinks he'll lead him somewhere. Until Sean decrypts the video, Daniels is the only lead we've got. You want me to pull Sean off the decryption and take over? No, not yet. I've gotten through the blanket encrypt, but it looks like the data was scrambled when the initial encryption took place. You won't know anything until I repair the damaged files and download them to my system. How long will that take? It shouldn't take... Wait a second. Oh, no. What's going on? There must have been a fail-safe mechanism. I need to get the information off this thing in less than seven minutes, or it'll lock down and be impossible to decipher. And that's my next mission. The PDA hard drive is damaged. Accessing the files on the PDA is a two-stage process. Stage 1. Use CTU's data retrieval software to unscramble the damaged data. Stage 2. Use CTU's decryption software to hack the, the encrypted files. The data is shown as red or blue cubes. CTU's data retrieval software will scan the hard drive. When a cube is highlighted, select either blue cubes or red cubes to repair the file. All right. <coughs> this was okay at the beginning. <coughs> but later on, it gets uh, a little uh, complex. Okay, I've recovered the files, now I just need the bypass of file encryption. Four percent. Hmm. That 
That's all I was able to get. The crew manifests I understand, but the photo... Run a cross-reference on the list of dead crewmen that were found on the cargo ship and this new crew manifest. Yeah, I'm on it. Lee Jin Yu. His is the only name that's not on both lists. It's on the crew manifest, but wasn't on the cargo ship. Well, we need to find him now. Fellow Americans, six months ago, individuals acting against the United States government attempted to remove me from office to assassinate me. Another group of individuals tried to take the life of President Prescott. Their attempts failed as well, but his condition at this time is critical. Yeah. I've reconfirmed that the on-record address we're able to find for Lee Jin Yu is obsolete. So you think the paper trail to this liquor store is our best bet? You has had three credit card transactions there in the past week, not to mention the weeks prior. The owner of the place is a Mr. Shin. He should know him. Let's hope so. This mission, <clears throat> when I first attempted to let's play this game, gave me a lot of trouble. I'm going to end this video here and start a new one. I'll be right back.